I'm Katie. I work here at Splice and I host the songwriting club on the Splice blog. So the point of the songwriting club is just to spark inspiration on a weekly basis. So this week's prompt uh, is to incorporate a drone into your into your music, which a lot of people might not be familiar with, but it's also called a pedal point in uh, like more classical stuff. So a drone is when like one note sounds throughout your entire piece or maybe two notes or like one chord or something like that. Um, the best way to explain it is like a, a bagpipe where they're like, and then like they play on top of it. I don't know how to play the bagpipe. So a pedal point is more commonly used in like orchestral stuff and organs. A pedal point relies on dissonance and then resolve. So at some point, that pedal point is gonna sound like so bad and dissonant in your ears within the chord structure, but it, then it resolves and then the tension releases and it's beautiful. So for this prompt, do, do either, do a drone, do a pedal point. These are all very loose, loose, loosely interpreted prompts. They're mostly just here, like I said, to spark creativity. Uh, let's start. I built this track mostly off of this sample. Super pretty, super simple. Um, I played around in this pack a lot because there are a lot of things, as you can see, that were in A minor, 110 BPM. Um, I pulled a few things out that we'll look at. I found one drum loop that I thought was really cool as well. Really simple, gives a lot of space. Um, I played around with like a bunch of other things that um, fell into that BPM and stuff, but I don't know, nothing totally did it for me. So I went real simple. So I pulled in this guitar as we just heard. I just used the guitar for the verse because it's really pretty and leaves a lot of room to build and it just didn't really need anything. But then when I got to the chorus, I wanted to thicken it up a little bit. I um, found this heavenly pad in the same pack that was beautiful. Then they sound really nice together. Okay, and then this is where this concept of the drone comes in. So I left this loop playing, this guitar loop playing the whole time. Like kind of the beauty of the drone idea is that like this, this, uh, the, the guitar back and forth is just A and E. So that fits into an A major chord, A, C sharp, E. So the A and the E are one and five in that chord structure. But like this whole song fits in the scale. So like these notes are always gonna be in this scale. So if you just move chords that fit within this scale, they have like a different harmonic presence, which is nice. So like at some point, for instance, in the pads, the chord goes to an F sharp minor. So that's F sharp, A and C sharp. So then the A and the E go from one and five, and they go to three and seven in this, A. So basically it just like changes the harmonic value of the drone note, but it still fits like really well because it's all within the same scale. It's pretty, give it a go. Okay, so now we have kind of the whole song. I didn't really do a lot. I pulled in that one drum loop I showed you, and then I, I love finding like a little riser to transition from the chorus to, or the verse to the chorus, but I couldn't find one, but I found this brass stem. So I took one of like the stab, pad stabs from the same pack um, and just cut it short. So there's like a little bit of transition. You can hear it here. Um, I will also say, just for kicks, I'll show you that I pulled in these other things that I thought would sound so great, and then they didn't. Um, they sounded like 
corny is not the right word, but like all of it together sounded too muddy for sure. And also too pleasant. I don't know. I'll show you. I'll layer them in. It's like really cool in a different way, but I don't know. For this, I just thought like less is more. So I made this track out of just four loops and really three, three, or I should say I made this track out of three loops and one little extra doodad. So for the um, verse, I kept it simple as I said, adjusted the guitar, recorded some vocals. Um, and then in the chorus, since again, like I'm only, I'm using like very minimal instrumentation. Like I love doing harmonies. I'm a singer, more, more voices, the better. So I decided to do like a full um, three part harmony, kind of four at, towards the end. Um, and I just want to take a minute to show you like a really nice way to space all that kind of stuff out. So you go from like this really small one voice guitar into the into the whole shebang, which I'll play now. Holding on to the rage in me, I am my own worst enemy. Now I'm filling up jars with goddamn swears, drowning in the last place I still care. Tomorrow when I wake, you'll be gone. Maybe this time I'll move on. Going into the chorus or the verse that just has a singular voice Holding on to the rage in me. and then you're going into the chorus with all these voices um it can kind of sound muddy now i'm filling up jars with goddamn swears drowning in the last place i still care so one thing that i do is just panning your vocals so these are all doubled now I'm filling up jars with goddamn swears Drowning in the last place I still care Tomorrow when I wake you I'll isolate all the vocals and just show you how nice it sounds when you start panning them to the left and the right ear and it just kind of, it kind of like creates a little bit of like wide open space with your like all your big layered vocals. Now I'm filling up jars with goddamn swears Drowning in the last place I still care Tomorrow when I wake you'll be gone Maybe this time I'll move on Now you're hearing like this and that So basically what I'm doing here is Sorry, these numbers are all messed up Again, I'm not like an amazing producer here and I don't organize my shit very well. Um, so six and 14 are the main melody. 15 and 16 are the um, higher melody, probably the third up. Uh, 19 and 17, probably the fourth down. Um, they're all just doubled. So when you pan like each one to the left and the right, it like spreads it out in this really nice way and sounds much better with the whole track. So everything isn't perfectly like mono in your ears. You can like space it out. So it sounds a little better, I think. So when you're recording lots of vocals, like I love to do, that's just a little tip. Just wanted to add that in there. Um, but Let's go back to the main point, which was the drone, and listen through the whole thing and hear like you know how it change, hear how it works throughout everything, because it all falls in the whole in the same scale as every chord in the song, but it kind of changes the harmonic structure. So like listen for the guitar when we get to the chorus and how it fits in. Coming out of the blue is what you do, is what you do. Holding on to the bend in me, you are my own worst enemy. Now I'm filling up dry. 
like found three loops that I really loved worked great together um double your vocals like in the chorus as always and pan them to the left and the right it's a huge help and yeah write something with a drone in it or a pedal point and it might spark something new um for me starting with a drone led to this vocal heavy piece and who knows where it'll take you for your next next track so give it a go if you liked this video, like it. If uh, you want to say something, say it nicely in the comments. And uh, subscribe here. Um, and submit your track in the comments on the Spice blog. Um, I'd love to hear it. And lots of other people would love to hear it too. See ya.